<laughs> what is good guys daria here back with another video so i know y'all like girl where you been at like you just can't just have the introduction like that like you've been here like I, I have not been here for like what four years three years two years i haven't been out here in a long time so i have been up to a lot but like there's so much information in my brain that i just want to like put out there put out there for you guys so here's this i'm not going to promise you guys that i'm gonna come on here and like record on a certain day and a certain time you're gonna get these videos just whenever my heart says pour it out throw it out there for someone there's someone out there who needs help with this and this and this and i don't want you guys to think that this channel is just about food or this channel is just about you know my spa like i'm whatever intentions i have whatever is in my mind i'm gonna throw it out there so just follow and subscribe because child y'all not gonna want to miss what i have all up in this noggin but yes this video today is about spa talk y'all know i own a spa here in florida well if you don't know i own a spa here in florida it's called exo look spa so anyways um i'll tag my booking link and everything if you guys are here my instagram and all that but please subscribe and like and comment tell me what else what ideas you guys have this topic is going to be about what it is to be a full specialist what i do the legalities of eyelash extensions and nail technicians and cosmetology just in case anyone has questions about this subject which is very it gets you know a lot of girls gonna be like shut up girl but like it's true we we gotta talk about these things because we want girls to go out there we want guys to go out there and do what's right and do what's good and follow the book to the t because that's how you're gonna make money okay so please keep watching so just a little side note i'm gonna just throw this out there y'all not gonna get <laughs> see what i'm talking about y'all are not about to get these edited ass videos okay i'm gonna just throw it out and talk and y'all just gonna have to catch it okay just i'm gonna throw it and y'all gonna have to catch it because i'm not gonna sit here and edit for hours no it's gonna be raw and uncut i actually get this question asked a lot so what do you do like what is your title what is your job title because i work in a spa so people always try to book for certain services and then they come in one day and see me like hey i'm doing your nails next day they come in hey i'm doing your lashes <laughs> So I am a licensed full specialist um, here in Port St. Lucie in the state of Florida. Um, in the state of Florida, you can combine your nail tech license and your esthetician license into one and become a full specialist. Or you could just go to school to be a cosmetologist. I'll tell you guys the difference. So a cosmetologist, they deal with hair, skin, and nail care. Um, an esthetician strictly only does um skincare only skincare um a part of skincare is also removing hair so any kind of waxing like brazilian waxing if you go to like european wax centers um those are also majority of the time those are esthetician as well um and nail nail technicians are only strictly your hands and your toes okay so that is the legality of what i do um i'm an esthetician and a nail tech so for specialists, baby. Well, now let's get into eyelash extensions in the state of Florida. Um, different states have different, you know, rules and regulations and laws. But in the state, the state of Florida, you have to be licensed in order to do, um, you know, eyelash extensions. Now, there's a difference between being licensed and being certified. So I'm gonna give it to you guys as quick and simple as I can give it to you. So pretty much majority of the people out there that are selling these lash courses, um, they're not licensed themselves or they don't have a program by the state where they can give you a final exam to take an esthetician course, offer 340 hours, 360 hours in order for you to do eyelash extensions. On that note, when you go to cosmetology school, when you go to beauty school, there is so many other um, very important 
things that you have to learn, like not burning someone's scalp, uh, AIDS, and all the bloodborne pathogens that you may possibly can encounter and also give to another person. Um, there's so many different chemicals that you can use that will really harm someone. So honestly, the time frame to teach a craft like lashes possibly may take four to eight hours. A lot of teachers feel like in that four to eight hours, I could really cover something that is way more important than you making someone's lashes look longer so they don't feel as if it is important. So what they will do is hire someone like me um, a master lash technician to come in and teach a class for a day. You're lucky if you even have a school that offers that. Some schools just say, listen, I'm gonna give you a license after this course. You're gonna go out there to a continuing education place or some home girl of yours that does lashes and she can teach you everything you need to know because now you're licensed. So that's why myself and other girls teach the eyelash courses because school don't they don't really teach it to you. Like I've honestly been to two beauty schools, which are state colleges, and I've never had anyone come in and teach it to me. Uh, our, ta our teacher, our professor spoke about it for like 30 minutes and was like, can we move on? Like, I'm not about to sit here and talk about lashes. We need to talk about what you're gonna do if you burn someone's skin off. So yes, that is the difference between being licensed and being certified. When you go to a person and they offer you a thousand dollars, five hundred course, a five hundred dollar course, a two day course, three day, four day course, and you get a certification, that does not mean you are legally allowed to do eyelash extensions. What I tell my girls is, you need to go to school because school is going to teach you the dangers of doing this right the right way it's going to teach you um business insurance all that how to cover yourself if something was to really happen it's going to also teach you the breakdown of sanitation so you don't transfer anything make someone's eye become infected um you can come to me to actually teach you the craft teach you how to buy lashes the size of lashes what to do if you know you have a client that has a A curl, B curl, C curl. I can get in the detail as to how you can craft you know, doing lashes, but you need to go to school to get licensed to legally perform it. So you need to have, through the Board of Cosmetology, um, a license where you sit down, you take your state board, and you get through the DBR, you know, the Department of Regulation and all that stuff, Department of Cosmetology, a license. And then you can go and take your lash course. Or if you wanna do it the other way around, take a lash course, see if you even like being in this business, work on your family and your friends, and then say, okay, I really wanna start working in a spa where I can make more money or open up my own practice, you know, then you can go to school. So that is the difference between a license um, a licensed lash tech <laughs> and a certified lash tech. So when I say you have to get your license in the Board of Cosmetology, that means only two people can do your lashes or only two licenses that can allow you to do lashes um, legally, which is a cosmetologist. Like I said, they do hair, they do skin, and they do nails. They do removing hair and applying hair, which is applying hair anywhere. And um, so lashes are included. And also an esthetician, because an esthetician is dealing with the face, is dealing with the hair on the face, is dealing with the, the hair on your eyes. So technically, yes, you can also be an esthetician licensed to do the eyelash extensions legally. You cannot be a nail tech in Florida. In Florida, I don't know anywhere else, but I'm pretty sure everywhere else is the same, but you cannot be a nail tech and perform eyelash extensions with just and only a nail tech license because what does it say? Nail, nail technician. You are a nail technician. The only two places on your body that has a nail is your hands and your toes, and that's that, okay? There's no way around it, guys. What is the worst thing that can happen? You just might get fined. 
if you get more than two fines, if you get caught more than two times, then you are not going to be allowed to go to the cosmetology school or program or beauty school or program because the board is not going to accept you. Even if you spend all these hours when you put in your application, you may think, oh my God, I'm almost there. I'm about to graduate. And then when you put that application through and they see that you got complaints through the Department of Health, it's going to come back and reject you and you just lost thousands of dollars. So... The best way to do this, guys, is to just at least sign up with a program and then, you know, go about it that way where you can actually do this for fun without breathing over your shoulders. I've been there. I understand how it feels to do this and want to make money, but you don't know if you want to go to school for it. You don't know if you're legal to do it or da 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 and you you got everything's stressing you out and you're doing lashes and you're looking at the door to see who's coming in. Like it's just a lot. So I would just say for peace of mind and for your business to grow better, please just do things the right way and get licensed. So pretty much when you book an appointment with me, um, I could do your pedicures because of my licenses. I can do your pedicures. I can do your nails. I can do your eyelashes. Um, I can do your facial and I can wax any part or area of your body. Um, can I do massages? It depends. Um, I can't do a full body massage because I'm not a masseuse. That is illegal because it doesn't come with my services. Is there ways to do it? Absolutely. Because I can do a body wrap, which, you know, I have to apply product onto your body. Um, I have to, I can do a body scrub because it is a part of the skin. So I can work my way around it to where it's not tying into too much of being a masseuse. Um, so you just have to really be careful what you do, what you advertise, and how you do it. So those are all the services that I perform. That's pretty much like my day in a bundle. I could be doing lashes one day. I could be doing nails one day. I could be doing waxing one day. And so a question I'm going to answer, what is my favorite service? I'm going to say my favorite services in order. So waxing. Mm, nah, facials. Facials are my favorite services because I love to care. First of all, I'm a pimple popper. I love popping pimples. I love getting into it. I love scrubbing people's faces in between their noses, getting all that dryness out of their skin. I love when they come in and their skin looks terrible <laughs> and they walk out and their skin is glowed up. I just, I, I love that. So, and it also is like a one-on-one -on -one care. I'm in your face. I'm getting down into it and I'm making you feel absolutely just comfortable. So I see myself more so in more of a spa setting for the rest of my future. So yeah, that's my favorite one. Um, my second one is waxing because I think it's absolutely cool to rip hair off people's skin. Uh, not fun for them, but yes, um, what part of the body I like to wax. Um, I really don't like doing Brazilians just because it's not that I'm uncomfortable. It's just because it's a lot of it's a lot of skin, and I'd be afraid because the hair grows this way, that way, this way, that way. So sometimes for me to rip it off is, it's that that hurts me looking at them in pain. So I would like to wax every other part of the body first before I get to that. But yeah, I love waxing second. My third is pedicures. I love doing pedicures because I love seeing people's feet look nasty. And then when they walk out, their feet looking like, why oh, you kiss it? <laughs> it's a nasty, weird foot fetish, but I love doing pedicures. Um, number, what else do I do? Oh, I love doing nails next. Nails is what got me into this, actually. Nails is what I started with. I've been doing nails since I was young. I used to do nails and... Um, in the classroom, I used to you take my lunch money and go buy nails at the dollar store at Walgreens, Walmart, wherever me and my mom shopped. And I would bring the nails into school and do people's press-ons. And I was doing this in elementary school. <laughs> so nails is what introduced me to this. And then, um, but it's not my favorite for some reason, because I feel like I can get so much better. And it's a lot of art, a lot of art. Um, and then my last favorite is eyelashes. And that's what I'm actually the best at. Um, eyelashes is just very, you know what it is? Like I can make more money in 30 minutes doing a facial than I can technically in lashes. So 30 minutes versus two and a half hours is like do the math, you know? And then you have to like hover over your body is stiff. You're, you can't move. You gotta be, uh, it's, it's a headache, but the outcome is like, I did that. I just slayed her. Yes. So that's the only reason why I kind of 
like that last just because of the, the body mechanism of it it hurts to do that the most yeah it hurts the most so yep those are the services that i do and offer. so that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions or concerns about this topic in particular just let me know in the comment section um i will definitely try my best to answer but if you guys want me to make more videos like this more videos about answering questions for anyone out there who wants to open up a spa or get into this field like child i got all the tea all the dirt on how you can become successful how you could probably take off even past me um all the things i did wrong all the things that i could possibly do maybe could help you out you know so any questions just let me know guys um and which i'll be saying like share subscribe comment all that <laughs> um i will not promise you like i said a time and date that i'm going to um put this videos out there. I'm going to just do this from the kindness of my heart, put out good intentions and good energy. Whenever I feel like there's a topic on my brain for someone to hear, I'll put it out. And once again, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys see me soon again.